Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, do some of the basic settings in the Janus Astrology program. This is the preferred program uh, for my natal astrology course. It's the uh, program I use all the time. This currently is uh, version 5.3 uh, in early 2021, but the developers are coming out soon with um, version 5.4. I don't think anything I say will uh, really change uh, in the new version. Um, it will have some new features, um, but it, I don't think it'll affect any of the settings that we're going to do today. So um, I have already set up Janus in the way that I like it, but I'm going to walk you through the settings to show you how they work so that you can uh, design the charts in the way that you want, have them look the way that you want, and also in the way that we will be using them in the course. Once you set up Janus, uh, it will automatically create a chart for you that looks like this, but probably the background will be colored. So we're going to go into the settings and start uh, making the chart look more like this. So we go up to the top and we click on settings and we're going to go to uh, general, the general settings. And here we have a number of basic options. Uh, for example, with your dates, do you want it to go month, day, year, as we do in the United States, or do you want it to go day, month, year, as in uh, many other countries? I'm choosing month, day, year. You can also decide whether you want to use military time, which is 20 hour time, 24 hour time, or um, AM, PM time. I'm using AM, PM. If we click next, you can tell it what is your default city that you want it to cast your chart for when you uh, open up the program or click the Now button, which just casts a chart for right now. That Now button, right by the way, is up here in the upper right. It says Now. It's a blue button. Um, you can see that I've already chosen my city, Minneapolis, uh, for the default city. Um, but if we wanted to, we could... Uh, type something in like Minnesota and you can see it already picks Minis finds Minnesota and then we could look for we could start to type in the name of the city and it would find it and uh, it would give us what we want so um, I'm not going to go through all this because um, I've already chosen the city if we click next again now we have some more important settings the type of zodiac, and so on. We're going to use the tropical zodiac, use a geocentric coordinate system. For the house system, uh, we're going to use whole signs for mainly in the first part of the course. We will later uh, use Alcabidius semi-arcs. So let me click that. And you'll see it gives you an alphabetical list of all sorts of house systems. Alcabidius semi-arcs will be the quadrant system we will use later on. Uh, but for now, we're going to use whole signs. And what that does here is it tells the computer to calculate your chart in whole signs by default. So you don't have to choose it every time. We're going to choose the true lunar nodes. For the lot of fortune, you want to choose day or night. Uh, because the lot has to be calculated differently by night. The other option here would be always day. That's how Ptolemy did it. Uh, we don't want to do that. For rulerships, I would choose uh, traditional, although we're not really going to use the computer to, um, to look at that kind of thing, at least not for now. For sunrise and set, I would just keep it at classical, uh, although that's something we can explore later on. We click Next, and we choose the glyphs we want to use for Uranus and Pluto, uh, because some countries do it differently. Uh, we're not even going to use those, so it doesn't matter what you choose. And then for Ascendant, you can choose either A or AS, and same with the Midheaven. Then you can also change the uh, wording that appears at the bottom and top of the sheets uh, when you print out charts. Um, it defaults to the company information for Janus. Uh, you can edit it to whatever you want. 
Then you can make some choices about a color scheme when it pop, when various boxes pop up. I'm just going to keep it the way it is, but it looks like you can choose all sorts of colors uh, for those pop-up boxes. Then you want to uh, uh, choose yes for automatically backing up your chart files when you exit Janus. What that does is, if you see over here on the right, every time you cast a chart, it will put it in this temporary box, and it will stay there forever until you do something else with it. If you want to put a chart uh, into some kind of uh, file folder, then uh, down here at the bottom right, you can see that you can create if you, you you can create folders and you can click and drag charts into them. Uh, then you can choose the path to the backup folder. Um, that is, where do you want the charts to go uh, when you back them up? And it will default to a special folder on your computer that is under Astrology House Janus 5 Backup Charts. And then in this box, you get to choose what information appears uh, either in the center of your chart or if you print out a chart, sometimes it will put the data on the side. And so we can click all the ones that we want. Um, some of these are, it, it's just, it's just too much. Um, but it depends on what it, what it is that you want to, um, put information, what information you want in your chart. But remember, uh, you don't want so much information that the wording spills out into the middle of the chart. So, um, I usually keep, uh, the name, uh, you might not even care about the, uh, chart type, the details, the time zone, and so on and then click Finish, and that is the General Settings. Now we're going to choose the planets that we'll use in the chart, and if you right-click on the screen, and you go down to Planet Selection, it pops up a box in which you have all of these things that you can uh, choose to put in there. Uh, we are only going to use the seven traditional planets from the Sun through Saturn, both nodes, the Lot of Fortune, and then choose all four of the angles, Ascendant, Descendant, Midheaven, and the Imam Queli, or IC. Uh, and then click, uh, unclick everything else, and then click OK, and those are your planets. Uh, if, you, if you were also using asteroids, you could choose asteroids. We're not going to use any of those. Now let's go up to the main screen settings. Go under Settings and click the first option, Main Screen Settings. And this is going to choose some things like the wheel style and colors and aspect lines. For now, we're going to skip the wheel settings because I want to show you a, a, a quicker way to get to it. Um, so we'll just leave that as it is, but then go to the tab that says Aspect Line Options. Uh, probably when the program starts, you will have all sorts of aspect lines. We're not going to use them. We won't need them. So unclick anything here. Uh, unclick the show aspect lines and anything else that has to do with showing aspects. Uh, we're not going to pay attention to uh, orbs and midpoints and anything like that. We're going to be able to do that visually or use other ways of looking at it. So we're just going to ignore those things. And because we're not using aspect lines, we don't care about clicking or unclicking any of these lists of all these different aspects or these planets, because we're not going to use them. Go to moiety. Uh, moiety has to do with the size of the orbs, or what the Arabs uh, called the bodies uh, uh, of the planets. And that is their sphere of influence around their body. Uh, we're not going to uh, look at that. For screen birth data, uh, that's the same thing that you've already looked at before, but you can see that you have the option of where to put the data. If it appears in the wheel, or if you want it to go outside the wheel on the side of a page when you print it, you can also choose none. And that's good if you are using example charts where you don't want to reveal the birth information. And you can also choose the size of the font and that's helpful because the more options that you put in there for the data, 
the smaller you want the font to be, otherwise the, the everything will spill out into the chart. Then go under Screen Image, and this is where you have color schemes. And uh, you can see by choosing color, it has given you these default colors for all the planets and the signs. Um, I myself like a clean black and white chart uh, without colors, uh, because I think the colors just are a little distracting. So I take out all the color. Um, also shading, there's shading options. Again, I think it, 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 it clutters the chart, but that's my preference. It doesn't have to be yours. So I take out the shading, and I choose a white background rather than a color background. Uh, now that's kind of nice. Uh, you can choose your colors, but again, well, you can also choose a picture. And you can choose your own pictures to put in the background. I myself just want to keep it uh, simple uh, white. Finally, Control Panel. Uh, this just asks you uh, what order you want certain uh, things to be in on the right hand of the screen. You can see Chart, Charts, and Files. If you look over here on the right, Chart tells you what chart is up right now. Charts is where all of the temporary charts are that you haven't organized. And Files is a list of all the folders you've created where you can put uh, your files to keep them and organize them. So once we've done those basic settings, we're done with that. Now at this point, we need to choose our chart style. And in Lesson 3, um, I give you a number of chart styles that we will use or that you can use. And uh, I want to walk through those right now. Uh, in, in, chart, or in Lesson 3, I describe to you which wheel style uh, to pick, but I want to show you visually how to do it. Now we've started out with whole signs here. I'm going to right click and go down to wheel style. And this gives us a number of styles we can use. Uh, for most of these, we're all going to use uh, proportional up in this top part, proportional. And there are a couple of options. Uh, let's stick for whole, with whole signs for right now, then we'll change it to Alcabidius, and, and you'll see those styles. So <clears throat> the first one we can use is, uh, we use the Zodiac style. And that is what this looks like. It's just a simple Zodiac with all of the degrees, and you can see the degrees of the angles, the Ascendant, Medheaven, IC, and Descendant, uh, are just marked where they are in the Zodiac. They're opposite each other, but you see they don't have a, a line. So that is type 1. At some point, we're going to put in some of the minor dignities, and when we do that, you can choose uh, Terms and Decans Gray. And that is right here. Now what that does is it retains the whole signs. The angles are still where they are. Planets are where they are. It's still a whole sign chart. But what we've added in is the uh, Egyptian bounds. And for that bound or term system, if you look here on the box of options, you have a choice of uh, choosing um, different types. We're going to use the Egyptian, and for the Deccans system, we're using Chaldean. So this inner ring of little uh, subdivisions of the, of the signs, those are the terms or bounds. And then these sections of three, which are 10 degrees a piece, those are the Deccans. So that is what it will look like in a whole sign chart when we do that. That is type two. Now the other kind uh, of whole sign chart that we could do is a western square chart. Uh, we might do this sometimes. Um, not all astrologers used round charts, and it's easier to draw a square chart, especially if you're writing in a manuscript um, and you want to save space. It's easier to draw a square that you can write around rather than a circle, which will give you lots of wasted space around it. 
So if we go to this screen settings up at the top, we can choose Western Square Chart. And down here you can see we have Medieval Square. And that gives you the same chart in whole signs, but the zodiacal signs are now these triangular bits. Everything is still in the same place it was, but the spacing and design just looks different. So those are types 1, 2, and 5 of the uh, whole sign chart. Now, let's go and we're going to uh, go up to chart and click new chart. We're going to do the same chart, but instead of whole signs, you'll see below here in lower left, we get to choose our house system. We're going to scroll up and choose Alcabidius semi arcs. Choose that and cast the chart. So now, again, this is the exact same chart, but now with Alcabidius houses. It still has the zodiac all around it, but now the zodiac is divided by the quadrant houses. So now let me show you the three styles that we'll use. Uh, that we can use in the course when we use the Alcabidius houses. So once again, right click on the screen, go back down to wheel style. We're going to still do proportional up top, but now we have a couple of options. The first is the one we already have hybrid, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, um, hybrid whole sign houses quadrant. That's the one that we have right now. That is style three. If we want to add the bounds and decans, just like we did in whole signs, we scroll till we get the hybrid whole sign quad four with terms and decans. Same chart, but now we've added in those minor dignities. That is style four. Finally, if we wanted to do a square chart uh, in Alcabidius houses, we could go up and click Western Square Chart. It gives us the same chart, but now with just these uh, lines that show the cusps. And that is style number six. So um, we're going to click Cancel so we don't retain that. And I'm going to go back up to Chart. I'm going to click New Chart. We could also click Edit if we wanted to. And we're going to go back and choose whole sign houses. And click cast chart. And this will get us back to the uh, chart that we wanted to, that we're going to use for um, much of the uh, time. <clears throat> you could use it as a hybrid whole sign house quadrant one. Um, it will give you the same results because uh, there are no cusps to show, but you could also go down and just click Zodiac, and that would give you uh, a simple, slightly simpler version with the numbers of the signs on this inner circle. So those are the uh, basic settings to set up Janus. Um, and in another video, I will show you the basics of how to create a chart in Janus.